Earth and the wind, I am undoubtedly the fastest runner. Get in! I've already heard the timekeeper's voice. She's close to us. She needs help! The arcane skill on the fog is far more powerful than ours. It's countering us. I can't wait any longer. I don't want it to be like the last time. There must be a way to focus all of our arcanum simultaneously. As long as we're more powerful, even just for a second, as long as there's a breach! Sometimes things can be fixed without Arcanum. <gasps> it is also a good way to learn from human experience. Mr. X and Regulus! So the reinforcements sent by the Foundation are you guys. Excellent. Woo! Finally, we catch up! I'm Cream Crackered. No worries, Sonetto. We will rush in and meet Thirteen. What did you just say, Mr. X? Is there another way? The essence of arcane power lies in the intuitive insight into everything. And our human friends are good at logical deduction based on awareness, which is rejected by the Arcanists. Since we can't beat the Manus in terms of Arcanum, then... Why not try to use a counterintuitive logic experiment to open the door of this protective incantation? Anyway, as long as the caster can be interrupted, Anything is fine. Hmm. Are you going to avoid the surveillance of the fog and go directly in to break the incantation? What counterintuitive experiment will you do? <laughs> Check it out. The next experiment is, within three minutes, use this copper pipe to boil a pot of water in the distance. A Goldberg machine. That explains it. Now I understand. How did you get it? Uh, I think people at the Foundation are more or less freaks. But, well, the kind of machine designed to be meaningless at every step is indeed counterintuitive. Maybe it really will release us from the control of Arcanum. <laughs> it's a gas! So, please start the experiment soon. We do not have much time. Please hold on, Timekeeper. Reinforcements are coming right away. There are so many of us. How many rounds can you make it through? Your good luck won't last long. Despite the coming storm, or the Foundation's reinforcements, there is only one ending to your story. <laughs> I don't care about the words of a dying man. Miss Druvis, I found the truth for you. The culprit to blame, the arsonist, is right here in the shelter. As long as you keep your promise to stay. No. It's not important anymore. Not important? He ruined everything with just 20 barrels of gasoline. That's him! Do you know who he is? <laughs> 
A firefighter who lost his job because of the depression thought that putting out a fire could win him his job back. Look at those hands! They set the fire, burned your families alive, burned your woods into ashes! How could you? How could you even forget such pain like that, Druvis? Thank you, Mr. Forget-Me-Not. For your help in the flames in the past. For your compassion for someone you've never met. Today is just the same as before. In the past, I tried everything to protect something. But before I knew it, I already stood on the opposite side of myself in the past. My woods will not perish. They will live with scars and new shoots in spring. They will look haggard, but at the same time they will stand upright. They will continue to grow, recording everything about their own history, territory, residence, and an anecdote of a reckless firefighter in the 1920s. They will keep growing upwards, until they cross the millennium. <sighs> Please allow me to bid you farewell, Mr. Forget-Me-Not. I don't understand. I can't understand. <laughs> we belong to the future, Forget-Me-Not. But for you, isn't the spring already here? I think I should go back to where I belong. The forget-me-not flower field! I wrote about the place! In Rainier! <gasps> <laughs> Next time you see a wounded snake, don't save it no more. Crush it to pieces. Smear its tongue over the ashes of despair. Wow, what is that man going to do? What a terrible arcanum fluctuation. If I knew it, I wouldn't have come in. Uh, huh? Are you having a quarrel? Looks like it poured at a bad time. Zanetto, Regulus. You're not hurt. That's great. I'm sorry. You protected me when the wall fell. But I could not save you, even let you confront the Manus alone. I'm sorry. Your hands are trembling, Zanetto. Calm down. You did nothing wrong. We are together now, aren't we? There are more challenges for us to take. It's not the time to catch up. You... You're right. We are late, but not too late. Timekeeper, I... I'm so glad that you are safe and sound. What comes next is the final battle. 
this time, please let me protect you. Just one thing. I will be home by 10 p.m. Affirmative. Handle it gently. Oh, I can't agree with that. A ravishing rainbow. Gently. Affirmative. Oh, yeah! Try for free. Try for free. Hey! A ravishing rainbow. I can't agree more. I will do as asked. No panic! No panic! It's a practice of adversity! A ravishing rainbow. No rabbit! No rabbit! What a great season! Take it easy. Weightlessness only lasts a second. Proposal accepted. Endowment 
from the great radiant ocean dried and I'm alone again. <laughs> the star falls towards the sun as the apple drops to the ground. Which matters more, knowledge or strength? Affirmative. Oh, I can't agree more. Handle it gently. A ravishing rainbow. A ravishing rainbow. Agree more. Take a of An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Extraction of the rainbow. 